Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another <laughs> daily challenge from Bloons Tower Defense 5, and let me turn down the sound here for a moment. Um, it is going to be sit in a corner, sit in the corner in fact. And um, uh, with tech shooters, boomerang, throwers, ice towers and spike factories. Okay, so it's all square towers? No, it's not, I don't know. I don't know what the theme is. Um, I didn't see. It. <laughs> I didn't see where we're starting, but I'm assuming something high. Um, okay, we're going to start off with one of these. Uh, one of these. Probably two of these, but. Uh, ex uh, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is this no this this covers actually more Um Yeah let's put a boomerang thrower in there set it to uh something like this and then upgrade this guy further. This is a pretty horrible combination of towers by the way. Just saying. Because it doesn't really do anything. Except slow down the balloons. I'll take out a couple of them. But okay, it worked out for the first round. But it's not going to work for this one. There we go. Try again. Okay, so we're going to start at round 30. So. Yeah, that means we do have some. Uh, okay, we do have some uh, lead balloons coming in, but it's not like the worst thing ever. Um, let's start off with this guy then. That's a much better start, straight off. And I guess we uh, we will have to work with this guy uh, all the way. Because he's the only guy that can actually shoot towers. Well, I guess the tech towers are still uh, semi-useful. But yeah, not really useful, so... There's that. This shouldn't be uh, too hard. I mean, this is what normally happens. I normally just try something and then it doesn't work out. And then I try something else. So it's kind of cool that I can... Uh, oh. Just leave that in. Please spawn. Too late. Uh, it's too slow. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I didn't uh, keep my eye on the game. But obviously round 33 is this guy. Um... Hang on, yeah, we should have the ability to go for this, but no, not on this one, just just so we're clear on that. I want to build one over here. And let's upgrade this one. Just for the fun of it, because it's, it's not going to reach it. At least, I hope not. It's not supposed to. So a little more, there we go, now I have two. But yeah, the camo balloons will reach this guy, so uh, I do have to be uh, careful about that. Uh, although it's not really a problem. So 46 is the next big wave. Yeah, not really a problem. Just not for now. And then 59, yeah, we have to upgrade this to, uh, to actually well, kill lead balloons. But until then, it's not a problem. So we're going to put one over here that actually shoots at everyone. That way, this batch that's going to be here can take down the Moab, and this guy can clean up the mess. That's kind of the strategy here. So we're going to make one more. Uh, 
this one. Yeah, it's fully upgraded. Well, except for the 9000 upgrade, but I can't really afford that. Um, let's see if we should plant one more of these. So I thought I could get away in the first try with uh, just the spike factory, but that apparently did not work. Spike factory is not really strong enough to uh, to handle round 30. <laughs> One balloon got through. <laughs> kind of sad. Um, oh, produce more. Oops. Let's try again. The strategy is solid, just need to uh, work on the execution. Okay, let's go. So yeah, we're going to build from here and then the other one from here. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's first place one of these. So yeah, now for round 33 I don't need to upgrade this, but for the, the other round I didn't even note the, the number on that. We don't really, oh uh, we do really have to upgrade. Um, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade once now, just so I don't forget to upgrade for the other guys. But for this round that really is unnecessary. Um. Should I get some freeze towers out? That's a good question. So we're going to uh, we're going into this one, of course. So yeah, now this one will shoot a lot as well. Just not as many, uh, well, projectiles at the same guys. So it's going to shoot one projectile at everyone, but it's going to take out more than the other guys in the right circumstances, of course. see can jump all the way up to there in the right circumstances. Uh, oh, this one's fully upgraded, so let's go for this one then. And let's now upgrade this one. It's so easy. Now this is how I normally um, figure out the strategy, so I don't really have a strategy when I start. Well, I do make up one. But I normally just try uh, one of the towers because normally I don't, yeah, I don't experiment too much. I just build whatever comes up, whatever I can afford, and whatever is in the level. And as you might have noticed, yeah, this one, uh, or this thing, let quite a few through, and then these couldn't really, uh, well, catch up. Couldn't really make it work. I'm going to upgrade this one once more, because it's useful against everything, but I just don't want to lose to the same thing once again. And we're going to upgrade this one, um, no, 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 this side this side. And this is the wave. Yeah, this time I have plenty of spikes. There you go. Getting another one. There you go. No problem, no problem. Oh, I, I have a limited amount of towers. Oh man, I should really read a little bit better. Because this is going to suck balls. <sighs> I 
Okay, that means that I'm going into uh, like five spike factories later on. And probably more of these. Because these are actually really good. I wish they would stop making those uh, uh, daily challenges where you have a limited amount of towers. They're so lame. I have to upgrade. I can't really choose what I want to do. I only get to choose, well, that one strategy. Yeah, this is not going to work really well for these towers. <laughs> uh, of course, th this one will still take it out. But yeah, it's kind of messy. Yeah, that's easy enough. Um, so yeah, these aren't really useful, and I don't want to save up for fourteen thousand. So let's just build another one of these. So if you sent me a request for a smite key, uh, yeah, you will get it. Don't worry, I got a lot of them. I uh, had all of them, all of the ones that I had yesterday, I uh, I did. So um, if there are still people out there that uh, have requests sent in, don't worry, you will get it. There are, is an unlimited amount of them, so uh, don't worry. As long as I don't have to give out like a hundred thousand, then it should be fine. Uh, just, yeah, if you want one, Smite, in fact, uh, in case you didn't know, uh, is a new game, a new uh, MOBA. Uh, hang on, sell, build another one. And um, yeah, if you want to well, participate in the beta, then um, just watch the video on Smite. And um, yeah, just join in the game. It's a, it's a very fun game, it's a very good game too. And um, yeah, I hope people will enjoy the game because I really do. So that's cool. Um, let's sell this one and make one more, but over here somewhere this time. Ah, it's not going to upgrade the range. That's kind of sucky. Um, yeah, I'm placing it in the front because. Um, that way, yeah, these guys still get a lot more to do. So just trying to make it work. And this one is going to be the one that I first upgrade. And as you can see, now these guys are a lot more effective. And yeah, of course, now I lose some of the potential, but that's okay. That's quite alright. <laughs> Man, this one thing holds it up. <laughs> no problem. So this is the first one I'm going to upgrade because these are actually not going to be wasted as much as the ones in the end of the track. As you can see, only the Moabs get through and the explosive balls are not meant for the Moabs. So just waiting for 14,000 and this is why I find these very annoying. So these, um, yeah, you can only build six towers. Because you're, you're just waiting for upgrades instead of having the choice to upgrade whatever you want. And is he going to hold this off? Yeah, no problem. Which wave is this? 55. So 63 might become a problem because 55 is not nearly as big as 63. But by that time we will have a lot more crap gathered up. That should be okay. So almost at 14,000. Come on, there we go. Explosive balls of death. Um, no, I'm not going to sell it yet. 
going to sell one of them, uh, upgrade the other one with the 9000 upgrade. And yeah, as you can see, it holds up the Moabs pretty nice. And these guys are just completely useless. So when we're at 8.2, that's when... Uh, oh, it actually sets them on fire. Oh, that is excellent. That means I need another one. Huh. Let's just sell this. No, I need a little bit more gold. Money, whatever. Come on, be faster. I think this is going to clear, uh, clean up this uh, whatever you are <laughs> all by itself. Yep, there we go. <laughs> ah, so strong. Um, sell this, almost upgrade that. There you go. And now I can uh, get one more of these. I might in the end sell this one to get one more or something like that. I don't know. I think that this one is kind of cute. Yeah, this was 63. I kind of noticed because of the amount of uh, lag I get. Because 63 always lags. Well, a little bit. I mean, it's the only round that really lags. Well, unless you get to round 120 or something like that. Then you get like 50 Moabs. Well, not these ones, but the even bigger ones. That is just crazy mode. So yeah, let's get another 14,000 out there. And then I should be okay. Yeah, if I can set them on fire over here, then over here, and then over here. They should be on fire for the entire track. Once again, Internet Explorer just completely failing, even though it's not open. It's, it's the best program ever. I don't think anyone has ever made a program that's that good. That can crash without even being open. Um, what? Okay. Never mind that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is really fail on a stick today. So, that was already wave 65. I thought we could be do some more fun with this. So oh, we can. We can actually uh, keep playing in free play mode. I want to see... Uh, whether we can uh, make it to round 85. So if you're not interested in that, and um, just go do something else, and I will see you next time. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest anyway, but um, yeah, I do want to know whether we can uh, make 85 with just the spike factories. And it shouldn't take too long, because, uh, well, with this guy in the front, at least we don't have to wait until the uh, the back of the track here to uh, to destroy everything. I guess this guy is still here, so it's not just pure um, spike factories, but he's not doing anything against these Moabs. He's just chilling a little bit. I should just sell him. See, then I can get one of these up. And then I can get another one of these up. Um, will this reach? Yeah, I think it will. I think it will reach this side. Just a very small part. Yeah, it does reach. But that's cool. So yeah, we're going to uh, build one more. Well, upgrade one more to uh, to its full potential. And oh, all camos! What will I do? 
But the spike uh, factories really don't have a weakness either, so it's uh, you kind of have uh, several towers that have no weakness, and those are basically my favorites. Um, yeah, the spike towers, obviously, because I just said so. The dartling gun, the mortar tower, although that has as a uh, well a problem. It's not really a weakness, but it has as a problem that it can't really reach the entire screen. Um, it only has a very small arc, uh, for a small AOE. Um, hang on, then we have the wizards, uh, the airplanes, and oh, the snipers. Because the rest either can can't detect. Oh, and the the dark monks. The rest either can't uh, detect uh, camo or they can't shoot at um, lead balloons. And yeah, the spike factories, the snipers, and the wizard monkeys are my favorites. My overall favorite would be uh, the snipers. Because they're so underused and they're so useless because of their price. They are so good for what they do. Oh, this is the maximum speed. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're at round 73. And we're doing fine so far. Hopefully we will get a little more money in. Because 14,000 is a lot of gold to, sell, to save up. I actually made it with 150 lives. This is medium, so that's a perfect playthrough, man. Whee! <laughs> oh, useless. Doesn't matter at all. Hey, you should be able to, uh, to tell these guys where to throw their spike balls. That would be awesome. Because so, so often do I see like uh, them throw the spike balls in the wrong direction or something like that. Because you didn't place them at the right pixel. Come on, give me 6,000. Man, these blowouts are really annoying. Oh shit. I still need to have a lot more. Uh oh. Yeah, that was that was not good. Anyhow, yeah, round 76 apparently. <laughs> should have upgraded differently. Should have sold those things in the back and then uh, upgraded the things in the front, or upgraded one of the things in the back. That would actually be. Excellent. If I had exploding balls in the back, this wouldn't have happened, because I would have a whole stack of them. But it ran through the first one and the second one before there were any balls stacked up on the on the track. So it, the the third one was the first uh, to actually do damage to them, and then they get damaged a little bit. But yeah, they get, they go through the rest of the track way too quickly. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Chee chee.